Good morning, Knicks fans. Good morning, Designated Report fans. I'm Cash Walken. I'm going to give you the breakdown about what happened last night in our Knicks Hawks game one and what my feelings are. Uh, first of all, I'm very proud of how the second unit and the bench players and the role players played Derrick Rose, Alec Burks, uh, Emmanuel Quickly and Obi Toppin. The rookies came to play. They made some huge impact plays. Even RJ Barrett had a really, really good game. He didn't have a good game shooting, but he made some impact plays uh, defensively. He even almost made the play of the game that really decided that game down the stretch when Bogdanovich hit that late three in the corner that tied it up 103 to 103. RJ Barrett almost makes a steal right there. And it was because he went so hard after it and went careening out of bounds that Bogdanovich gets that open three. And I mean, that, that's just cold blooded. That's NBA basketball. Uh, I, I'm not even mad about that. That's just sometimes that's the way it goes. It's the first game of a, a, a seven game series. Did I want to win it at home? Of course, we gave back home court advantage to them. So, uh, you know, that is what it is. But it's two very evenly matched teams. Trey Young went off. We're going to have to figure out what to do with him. I don't like Tibbs putting in Frank Milikina at the end of the game, cold to guard the hottest guy in the game. That was a bad coaching decision. And I also don't like him going to Julius Randle, who played his worst game of the season by far last night uh, at the on that last shot. After the, at the end of the game. I would like him to have gone to Alec Burks, who was cooking for us, or even Derrick Rose, who was also having a good game. Um, Julius Randle, could there wasn't enough time to make him a decoy, and he's got Alec Burks, who has 28 points at that point, 27 points, inbounding the ball. So I didn't like those two coaching decisions. Uh, I know that this team is good. These teams are two evenly, very evenly matched teams. I know that Tibbs is gonna bounce back. He's going to be in film. He probably hasn't even slept yet. He's probably on film right now. And I think that the uh, you know the Knicks are going to be okay. They're going to recover, tie things up on two, go down to Atlanta and make things happen there. And uh, we'll get back this home court advantage and hopefully be able to take care of these guys in five.